Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. What his name? Yudi. It's uh, I ain't gonna lie. His loyalty test seem authentic though. I ain't gonna lie. It do seem authentic, bro. For real, for real. But we got Willis long distance girlfriend cheat on him. Now I don't know the result of this, but I always assume they cheat. I'm I'm sorry, but if you're new to my channel, I always assume they cheat. I don't I don't never think positive when it comes to cheating, bro. You feel me? You put somebody on a loyalty test, but they gonna fold if you put them in the right position. Now I ain't talking about me. I'm just saying, bro. From what I've seen, I don't really see too many pads. Is that cause like they don't post a pass or something? Cause it can't just be straight fails all back to back, bro. It can't be. We can we can the news out there with these loyalty tests, bro. For real. The news only show the bad. They don't show the good. I'm trying to tell you. But no distance, I can tell you right now. Long distance, but that's that's that, that's hell on the scale, bro. That's hell on the scale, bro. What the hell this man did to my shit, bro? My shit reeling off. But like I was saying, long distance, that shit hell on the scale, man. It's, it's hell on the scale, bro. I had broke up with my second girl because of long distance. Literally. My second girlfriend, I had broke up with her because of long distance. And I, I I did it on some respectful junk, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? She got mad, you know, of course, still. But, like, I at least told her, like, you feel me? Like, it ain't gonna work. Like, you stay too far. Like, I ain't have my whip at the time, bro. I went in the position to take care of her, bro. I couldn't even take care of myself. You feel me? So, I was like, bro, I can't take care of you. My, I had my whip, did I? I don't think I had my car yet, bro. I, don't, I really don't think I had my car yet. I went in the position to take care of her, bro. You feel me? I couldn't take care of myself. So I, I just like, every time she come down, she got to come down to see me. I can't even go see her. So I was just like, nah, bro. It ain't going to work, bro. But really, like, I really didn't want to do it. But I had to, though. That's how me and my second girl broke up. But, you know what I'm That's besides the point, bro. Because she ain't never cheat on me or nothing like that. You feel me? But they say, well, uh, I ain't going to lie. I, I hope you the best, buddy. I wish you the best. I don't wish you no feelings. I wish you no feelings. But I think it's going to be some feelings. Balance oh, yeah. the test. If I were to put a girl to a test like this, she would have probably failed. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's different for somebody else. Our decoy Cameron will be the one testing Bella's loyalty. He's going to pretend to be rich, hit on her, and then eventually ask her on a date. So how do you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do. I love it. You love it. Come out here a little more, you know, spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, this could be a reality, you know what I'm saying? Oh, That's yeah, she failed. She, she failed. Bro, how you doing? Great, man. Good, good, good. Welcome to your crib, bro. Hey, man. Good to be home. <laughs> <laughs> so, Xavier, you managed to get away. I know. I told her that I was doing like training because I had like onboarding since I just like got this job. So, I mean, she didn't really question it too much. That's how I was going to ask. Is she suspicious or no, anything? No, no? She didn't. She... we're Gucci. Good? Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> okay, cool. Xavier just got a new job. So, in order to meet us up, he told Bella that he had a mandatory training that he couldn't miss for a couple of hours. She doesn't know exactly how long, but okay. I just told her I just had paperwork to sign. Tight, 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 tight. This loyalty test actually began yesterday. We instructed Xavier to bring Bella to this restaurant to have lunch with his supposed friend Ken. This was phase one of our test. I'm definitely gonna test her and see what <laughs> see what she wants to do, but all in all, man, I really do hope she passes. After waiting for some time, yeah, Xavier eventually feet, texted Ken that he was here. I don't see them anywhere. Do you see them? Oh, no, nah, I don't see them. Oh, there they are. I see them. Dude, what's up? Oh, bro, it's been forever, dude. Hello, man. How you been? Chilling. Sorry, Bella. Hi. Bella. Nice to meet you, I'm nice Ken. To meet you. Yeah, I've heard a little bit. You guys ready to get something to eat? Ken is pretending to be Xavier's friend whom Bella has never met. We knew she wouldn't question this because, well, Bella hasn't met any of Xavier's friends. You see, she actually lives in a different state. Yeah, these two are in a long distance relationship, and that's one of the reasons why Xavier wanted to test. That's Bella. crazy, bro. She and Xavier met while Xavier was out in Arizona doing a fitness expo. He's into fitness, and she's a college student there. She also dances and bartends part time, which is useful information that Cameron will use to his advantage. I actually met her on, on campus. She goes to school. That's cool. Wait, what do you what do you go to school for, right now? Psychology. Not yeah, a lot of. It's, it's just something about like college girls, bro. Born in Arizona. I, I ain't mean to do that, but college girls is over, bro. Like. I ain't exactly but I got this leather shit everywhere, bro. This shit. Y'all wonder what the fuck I'm doing, bro. It's a diamond pester shit, man. I got my, I got fucking leather shit pillow. I had this shit for years, bro. But uh yeah, I had brought it out of retirement today. Oh, somebody support. needed me to test something for him, bro. So I had to test it out. But that's besides the point though. Um like what I, what I was saying, oh yeah, the college college girls, I ain't gonna lie, college girls are wild. They crazy. They like to party and everything. I I, I just don't I don't I don't see y'all pass. I don't see her passing, bro. College girls, bro. You date a girl in college, boy. And she goes to them parties. GG's! That ain't your girl! That ain't your girl! 
Especially down here in Atlanta. It ain't your girl, boy. 100 miles is still 400 miles. At first, I thought it was like 100% that I was in the work. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would actually be, like once I actually like started doing it and I'm like exactly. far away from her. Yeah. But like slowly, recently. Yeah, mine went in a different state or nothing. Mine was just like an hour away from me though. It's been getting it's like insane. we've been lagging on each other. Mm. It's not like even just, like just the fact that it would be just her. Like sometimes like I'll be lagging too, but I feel like she kind of does it in like kind of spite. You got eyes on them, right, Andrew? Yeah, we do over. So yeah, so what did you say you've been up to recently? Um, Jim just uh, got the new gig selling like home theater stuff. I see why he's kind of tripping. I mean, she's pretty and she's, you know, like she's in college. She's a bartender. She's a dancer. Like, yeah. She has a lot of it's things over. that would attract it's over. to her. And it's, it's cool. over. You know, bartender and dancing? And like, oh, yeah. She's bartending and dancing. For a good time. How do, how do you like uh, being out here in California? Uh, no cap. What's, nice. not, she definitely not, bartending and dancing. <laughs> In order to pull oh, this test, no, Siri convinced boy. Bella to fly out to California. She would be staying with him over the weekend, funny, but we helped him cover her flights and her expenses here. I honestly felt a little bad because she thought she was going to be here on a weekend's vacation, but we got to help the homie pull this test. Long distance relationships as is are hard. And honestly, if she's willing to cheat here in California while on vacation, he's got to for sure drop her after that because who knows what she'd be willing to do 400 miles away in Arizona when he's not there. So yep. what do you guys, uh, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? We talk about going to the beach, beer. I was gonna say, bro, if you're not doing anything, you should come uh, visit my place. So it's like about five minutes, five, ten minutes away from the beach, actually. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd be down. Would you be down? Yeah. The purpose for this phase was Why to they put a those type of emojis on her, though? They trying to start something. Ken and Cameron supposed I ain't gonna keep pausing it. They trying to start house. something, though. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you didn't really, like, talk to him that much, but... um you stay with him? I stay with him, yeah. I stay oh, with well. him. I've never met a shy bartender or a dancer before, but we still wanted to ease this test in. We didn't want to make Bella suspicious or uncomfortable. Worst case scenario, she's got no choice, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. We want to make her feel like she has a yeah, choice, but yeah, at the end of the day... She does not have a choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're coming to my house. <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's true. Bella was staying with Xavier, so she had to do what he was down to do. Bro, do you remember how you said Yeah, got me in my house. This might seem really challenging. Yeah, boy, I'm ready to get this thing going, boy. Tomorrow, that's speaking of uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Phase one was a success. The couple was invited over, and Ken began laying down the building blocks for the rest of our plan. I feel like it's better to, yeah, for sure, to make it like a more multiple step plan, just because we try to like, I feel like, rush it all in one day. Yeah. It won't be as realistic. Yeah. At least, like, I'm thinking like that's how she'll think. I agree. Like she might catch on or something, but. Yeah. Alrighty, bro. Good luck, man. Once you get back, you'll see Ken out here. You'll meet up with him, and we're in the zone, okay? okay. We're going. We're going, okay? All right, all right, cool. You got it? All right. We'll see you, bro. Xavier began making his way back home. He would be bringing Bella over within the next two hours, exactly as they planned yesterday. This gave us more than enough time to make sure we were ready to go for phase two of this. There's a lot of steps, but they're going to any loyalty You don't think she's going to pass? A lot of cameras setting up and everything. They already seem to have trust issues with each other. She lives in the Remember you from the last one, boy. Arizona. You don't get to see what she does every day, so I could understand why he would have paranoia, but it doesn't mean she's cheating. I'm not even sure that she's cheating right now, but I do think given the opportunity for something better, she may cheat. Oh, okay. Xavier just texted me. I mean, I feel like they're any girl, though. Out. Ken, I think What's y'all think? If y'all celebrity crush come up to y'all girl right now, if y'all celebrity, of, of, of your girl celebrity crush come up to your girl right now, what you think she doing? She going or she staying? She going or she staying? Which one? I ain't tell you. She going. Remember to take the walkie with you. She's Hold going. On. 10 4, 10 4. Copy on that. It's just like, tell you, she going. We're now only 10 minutes away from showtime. They're having a long distance relationship okay. right now. Long distances work. I have a friend. His girlfriend's in Tennessee. He's out in LA. And they make it work. Ken was Don't be no fool. And was literally I ain't no fool. Every other weekend. It's crazy. And they still had loyalty issues. He just said parking should be there right now. Here we go. Where are they gonna come from is the question. Where did they park? Oh. Yo, what's up, X? What's up, Ken? Oh, man, how you doing? Good, yeah. You came, bro. Bro, who's on three is this? Oh, dude, that's actually Cameron's, bro. Bro, no way. I know it's pretty sick, huh? Bella, how are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. As you can see, these are all the pops that I have. So the couple arrives, greets Ken, and he shows off his pops collection. If you guys recall, yesterday Ken told them this. I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Ken is pretending to collect and resell Funko Pops. Supposedly, he's got to drop these off to a big buyer today. But in reality, we're using these pops as Xavier and Ken's excuse to exit the scene. I ain't gonna lie, I heard this them motherfuckers house. expensive. Like, Yo. you can resell them for real. Yo, no way. Them pops. <laughs> oh, 
What's going on, X? Damn, it's been a minute, dog. You straight? Man, you look good, man. The goal right here is to make Bella comfortable. The plan is to leave her by herself with Cameron, so we don't need her to be shy or nothing like that. So you live in Arizona now? Oh, OK, OK. We're talking about like walking the pier, but like that could... No, 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 we can do that today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We look, bro, bro, this is right near the pier, dude. We, so we can go to the pier, chill. After sunset, hey, we can come back here and just chill out by the pool and shit like that. The guys continue breaking the ice, and Cameron nonchalantly continues to show off his lavish home. The odds of Bella cheating with a guy who's a whole state away are slim. If this guy is rich, though, that might even out the playing field. Everything so far is going as planned. Do you like party out in Arizona? Like, how's the vibe out there? Like, is it kind of? Not much to do, oh, but you'll love it out here in LA. Like, all right, it's good. We're getting her talking. Sounds like she's opening up. It's all good. We got this room here. It's like a, a game room that we have. Earlier, we were playing some Connect Four and stuff like that, bro. Now, instead of selling Funko Pops, Connect Four is so easy, man. Rich, you could actually make some money by playing games on your phone. All you got to do is sign up for. I ain't here for a sponsor, bro. I ain't here for a sponsor. I have my pencil. Oh. You know, actually, what time is it? Hold it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm actually supposed to meet with the buyer. Oh, so I gotta get going. Do you still want to go with me? Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely want to see that. For sure. I think maybe only one of you guys can fit because I don't really have that much space to be honest. But it, it's literally gonna be like 10, 15 minutes. Would you mind staying for like a little bit? Like how long? You said it was gonna be quick, so I mean, yeah, it's no problem. We'll do something. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be quick. Just around the corner. It's right, we'll be like right back. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she can hang out here. That's no problem. Cool. So with a little help from Cameron and some social pressure, Ken and Xavier are finally able to exit the scene. Yeah, y'all drive safe, bro. We'll see when you get back. Oh, man, okay, cool. All we got to do now is sneak them back into the house. And that's where Kyle comes in. Yeah, just go down next to that car down there. You sure you don't want anything to drink or a snack or a water? Yeah, I got you. This house did not have a side entrance. So to sneak Xavier upstairs, he and Ken first pretend to drive off. But yeah, let's play some, uh, let's play some connect. For How do they here. sneak the nigga back in the house? down the street, Ken and Xavier sneak their way to the side gate of the house. Look at these sketchy mother go. Someone's about to call the cops. <laughs> no, they're not black. Obviously, they're not going to call the cops. That's crazy. That's crazy. You and me running. Uh, they saw us fucking running down the street and trying to break into the house. We, yeah. we, we wouldn't even make it to the door. Sergio, we're in position. Copy that. Send again, Kyle. Kyle, go ahead and make your entrance. Okay, I'm coming. And with that, Kyle heads to the home to distract Cameron and Bella. Kyle's heading in right now with a hundred thousand dollar watch. So you're a bartender, you dance, you go to school. What do you study in school? Psychology. Oh, so you're like studying to be a mind reader. Kyle's at the front door, Ken. You can go ahead and go to the corner. Yeah, but. Um, I just, oh wait, hold on, I think it's my, uh, assistant. Hold your position, hold your position, I'll tell you when she goes to the door. Hey, what's up, bro? Yo, what's up, my dog? How's it going, bro? It's going good, man. Okay, so Nigga, why was she go to the Rolex door? Store. They got your watch custom made. This is probably one of the craziest freaking watches I have ever seen in my Bruh. entire life. Hey, hey, Bella, come, take, come take a look at this real quick. Where you at? Come around. I just got this new, come come check out this new relics real quick. Sorry, I don't want to be too far from the box. She's going to the door. Wait there, wait there. Not yet, not yet. Kyle, this is Bella. Like, no, this is I don't want the draft to come in or anything like that. How do you feel about this watch? It's super, super, yeah. Now, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. When it first came out, it literally was selling for like 520K. Like it was an exclusive by John Mayer. <laughs> God, this is so bad. Uh, bruh. Did you even be able to order ring? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, that shit on some spa shit though. That shit kind of far though. I ain't gonna lie, this shit kind of fight over. It's such a spicy thing. <laughs> so, Xavier, appreciate you. You got the other thing to handle for me, too, right? Correct. Call me if you need anything. Appreciate else. you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. How's everything suspected? She's suspecting anything? I don't think so. I know. It's good. good. Yeah. Gucci? Oh, yeah. That's my guy. But yeah, how do you feel about the watch? Do you really like it? I do like yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. For you, I like it. For me? Smaller watches, okay. You should be taking her back to the game room right now. Type, type, right, type. Well, you like them smaller ones. Game. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. With Zayn now tight. safely in the room, Cameron was free to start working his way into making his move. I know that girl's about to fail hardcore. Why? Because she saw how handsome and rich and flamboyant and sexy and good looking and charismatic and charming and amazing that you are. Is that what it is? Flamboyant. I am flamboyant. I don't know if Bella's going to fail or not, but I think we did a hella good job making sure our decoy looked rich. The house it's like, bro, when they set up these tests, they set them up just so they can fail. <laughs> Literally. Rolex, I mean, that all might make a difference. Let's play some Uno. Okay, I got you. It's like they, they took, they, 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 they tempt them to the max. Damn. Like, all right, there, all right, there, all right, there. Hopefully, Bella will remain loyal. I swear, bro, Nets be having me paranoid, bro. Like, it's something about Nets, bro. I just don't like them, bro. Like, no cap, bro. I be thinking it be Nets, bro. Like, 
No cap, nigga. It was just a gnat in my room, bro. I said, how you get in here, bro? Yo, look at my one of my reactions, bro. Gnat and that just flying in here, bro. I said, bro, you get in here, buy my door clothes. Long distance cheating. Ooh, that is on a whole other level. You know how to shuffle? Matter of fact, you shuffle. No, you shuffle. No, oh, I can shuffle. Okay, bet. Because I don't want no excuses. You being like, oh, you didn't, you didn't sabotage the car. Oh, like, she blah, sound blah, blah, right, blah. though. You gotta play with no attack, though. I wish they didn't blow her face talking. so I could see if she got you, down. You know what I'm saying? She, she like that for real. Yeah. If, I, if I'm talking shit, I'm with you for sure. You should definitely come out here some more for sure. Like, and you said that you're dancing and stuff like that too. Like, I got some connects. Like, I could really get you in some stuff. Like, ain't no work happening in Arizona. Like, you said you in the middle of nowhere, Arizona too. So, oh, you yeah. Hey, oh, now you gotta take those. You grab them. You go yeah. first though. Yeah, now. Like for you, yeah. Unnecessarily. Um, Nothing too bad, I guess. And so with that, Cameron and Bella begin playing some Uno. Cameron uses the game to continue breaking the ice, getting friendly with her, and getting her to open up. Eventually, he switches to Connect Four, cueing us that he was getting ready to make his move. He's gonna be making his move pretty soon here. Okay, okay so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Man, yeah, I hope think about it. Yeah, think. Oh, she nervous. I got you nervous, huh? Yeah. Nah, you didn't seem nervous ever since you know Xavier left. I don't know. It, it, you just clumsy. You nervous? Hmm. I hear you. It's your turn. Go ahead. I think. Is it? It is my turn. Oh, okay. Thinking. Oh, you think? Yeah, think hard. Uh, don't think too long. Okay, bet. But anyway. That nigga don't like that, boy. You don't like. <laughs> that nigga talking to my, you talking to my girl. So like how that, you like but. the crib? Like, you, you really like the house? Like, I do. I love it. You love it? It's so nice. Yeah, it's cool. I can imagine living here. I mean, you ain't got to imagine. You know, you can come out here a little more, you know, spend, spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, here we go. I think this might be it. You ain't got to imagine, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can be reality, but, you know, that's on you. I, what do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, like, you can just come out, like, come out more, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can show you around, like, you want to hit the city? I know, like, the best steak houses. I know the best seafood. Like, what you into? What kind of food you like? I like seafood. Seafood? Yeah. Bet. We got Nobu right up the road. I know the manager and all that, like, Nobu? Yeah. It's like, it's like a sushi, like sushi, seafood, you like sushi? Yeah. For real, like, we can really do that. Like, you real beautiful, like, you got a cool vibe. You, you they don't throw y'all, like, 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 you didn't get to think, like, bro, this, this, this my nigga mans? You just gonna do that, bro? I can't be a Oscar girl, spicy nowadays. That's cool, like, I think you'd be some good company for me, you know what I'm saying? Buddy like, ain't even, bro, no gay, no, buddy ain't even ugly, though. Buddy look sharp. It don't look like nothing wrong with dude, for real. Like, is that something that you would be interested in? Maybe. A little bit, maybe, yeah. I mean, do you guys have anything planned for today or tomorrow? Uh, I mean, just we're gonna hang out here today. Hmm. Um, I got you. Well, tomorrow, like, I can make myself fully available to you. But if not, I then. I guess I, like, could say, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe? Know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here's my phone. Uh, put your number in real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. She failed, man. Just like that, Bella gives Cameron her Easily. And seemingly agrees to go to Nobu with him. All right, bet. I got to call it, because I don't know. You, you know, I, yeah, call it, because I don't know. You, you give me the wrong number, and I'm just sitting here calling it. Yeah, no, I don't think I would classify this as a fail just yet. Bella's intentions nah, that's a fail. clear. Nah, 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 it's clear. It's clear. Vague, if I'm being honest. Yeah, he I mean, did. He do wrong. look a little he nervous, though. So we could move on to a phase three. You think she's I said that myself. He looking a little nervous. Just because she's just being nice or because she just feels uncomfortable or awkward. You think she's just saying whatever he wants to hear? Just playing devil's advocate here, right? Yeah. All right, so we could. All right, bet. Well, that sounds good. Well, shit. Tomorrow, you better be free. You got clothes? Like, you got date night clothes? Or I got, I got to, like, I got to give my car, let you go shopping a little bit. Because if you're going out with me, you got to come correct. Like, you got to come with some yeah, style. I have something I could wear. You sure? You sure? I mean, I can buy you some. You want some little jewelry? Like, I got a black card. I can just, like. OK, this began changing things for me. Now it's starting to sound like she's failing because Cameron is being more direct. Huh, I guess the man works backwards. Money's, money's no, no problem. I like that. Yeah, you like that? What else you like? Mm, oh, you like the pool. We going on, we're talking about me. We ain't talking about no pool. But it's all right, we'll talk about that tomorrow dinner. We ain't got to worry about that right now. You like, like, outside? Mm -hmm. You like, you like you the like material things. Like you like me? Okay, okay, I like you for sure. You cool. We'll see how you are tomorrow. You know, you a little, 
you a little shy now, but yeah, tomorrow we definitely gonna open you up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, but let me finish busting your ass. Yeah, by this little interaction alone, she clearly senses that he's flirting with her and she's not shutting it down. It's is over. she into him though? Or is she just into the money and the opportunity? It's over. I don't wanna say it's like a 100% fail so far. I wanna see if she's maybe gonna like tell me about right. like and say like, oh, I was just doing that. I was uncomfortable, you were gone. Right. So that's what I'm like, I'm hoping for, but at the same time, I don't know that there's definitely. And I know nothing wrong with my dudes right here, man. Yeah. I know nothing wrong with my dudes yeah. right here, bro. Ultimately, though, it's on you. I know, Cal. I know nothing wrong with my dudes, bro. For her to do that, bro. For real. I know nothing wrong with my dudes. cool with trying to finish it today? Yeah. Cool. No homo, bro. No, no sweet jump. I'm just saying, though. Out tomorrow, but the final is to finish this test today. We already had an excuse to get Bella to come back. I'm trying to stay optimistic that she's yeah. going to tell me. But yeah. I mean, and, that, and that, too, try to give her a chance to, like, come clean. To tell you, like. Yeah, I can just be like, oh, what you guys talk about? Mm. And then see what she says. Should I be recording that part or like somehow like voice memo or something? Or? I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you could get it on a voice memo. That'd be actually really cool. Okay. That'd be actually really cool. I need no a little cap. snack. You want, you want like a little snack out of the kitchen or anything like that? Sure. Yeah, come on. For now, Cameron's job was done. Our new priority was to get Ken and Xavier back into the scene. Hey, Kyle, we need an excuse to get these guys back downstairs. <laughs> And that was what he wanted to do for his birthday. So like, it was super cool. The though. Same it was like dude, a Mario Kart thing. We drove through the city. But who is that? Oh, Lincoln. Yes, sir. What's, What's up, man? How are you, bro? I need your help with the car. Do you want to have her come out? Yeah. Hey, something? Bella, real quick, come here. I wasn't entirely sure what the excuse well, to get the same dude the though. Was, but hey, when you're in a stranger's house, that. you usually do what they say. Yeah, have you seen the new M3 competition sports before? Like, it's the new, the new BMW. No, yeah, it's literally people like one of yet. 350 ever made. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The keys got locked inside, so I'm trying oh. to figure out how to do it from your app. Oh my God. <laughs> do you think the outside is cool? Wait till you see the inside. Go ahead, take a look. I love the red. Yeah. So I guess the excuse was that the car keys were locked in the car and they needed Cameron's phone to unlock it. A little random and odd, but Bella didn't question it and it got the job done. Alrighty, you guys are good. Mm -hmm. so uh, I would have questioned that. They come in, they Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Something, <laughs> something was up there. You're gonna not move your car back. You can just say that you parked it down the street or heck, she might not even question it, but just leave it walking outside and turn it off. Copy on that. Do you have like a dream car or anything like that? Yeah, I like a Porsche. A Porsche? Alrighty, guys, well, that's it. Damn. That's probably them right now. I'm a little on the fence where, like, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and just think that she's just trying to be nice. Well, not trying to be nice. More like, hey, let me just tell him what he wants to hear. We were keeping this test going, oh, so man, we were going to learn Bella's intentions soon enough. We just had to get her and Xavier out of there. And the excuse was that Xavier... Man, I hope she passed, bro. Remember, Xavier actually just got a new job, so we were using that to our advantage. Did you yeah. get, like, a call or something? They just yeah. called me in, but I, it's a new gig, so I don't really want to, like... Oh, uh, oh, you got called in to, like, work? Yeah. Just oh, they said that they gave it to you. They did, but someone called out the closer. So I got a, I got a four hours. Yeah, handle your, hand your business, bro, like for sure. They just started a new job. You guys are still down, and maybe, maybe later tonight when I get out. Probably work out better that way anyway, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Do your thing, bro. Hell yeah, good seeing you. Nice meeting you, Bella. We'll definitely be well acquainted. We'll talk soon. And with that, phase two officially came to an end. The plan was to execute phase three in a couple of hours. Our arms are folded, man. Yeah, but did you, you see think she's look, gonna cheat? But did you look at the look of her face when she saw that car? Well, everybody looks at a car doesn't mean she's a cheater. Just because she looked at a car makes her guilty. Man. She guilty. She guilty. She failed, bro. Like, did you guys have fun? It was fine. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Ken in forever, so I just, he kind of put me in the spot to like, go with him. And yeah. I, I felt bad leaving you, but um, what'd you guys do? Yeah, I just played Connect Four and just like talked a little, you know. Okay, what'd you guys talk about? Uh, just like Arizona. Um, Y'all like talk about no Arizona? Not that cow. Not that cow. Not that cow. Y'all like talk about no Arizona. I haven't talked to him in like forever, so I was just wondering, you've talked to him more than I've talked to him in like the last two years. Yeah. Uh, anything else? No, not really. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way, boy. How was the sale go? Like, how did that go? Oh, that was really cool. I made like a grand. And like, oh, those Funko Pops? It was a lot of Funkos, but That's it was like. That's crazy. Yeah.
So as you guys just heard, Bella did not tell Xavier everything. And I hate to say it, but that's a huge red flag. Honestly, like she was really shy at first, but when I started like opening up about like opportunities and stuff, that's when she like got into it. And okay. I feel like she broke out of her shell a little bit. Okay. So, and I started talking about money. I think that's when she was just like, oh, okay. Anybody gets excited when you see a nice watch, when you see a nice car, when you see a nice house. We all Not me. I don't get excited when I see a nice watch. Probably car. I wouldn't get that sight to where like, oh shit, open a cheat. <laughs> like, no. They get that sight like that shit. That shit hard. If you get excited, true. It doesn't automatically make you a cheater. She could just be trying to use me. She could just be trying she to use me. She wasn't like hella like she wasn't like super, super flirty. Like I think she could be an opportunist. If you have a partner who is willing to go see another guy that they just met, regardless of their financial situation. And she does nothing with you. But you don't consider that not, cheating? When your partner goes out with the person of the opposite sex, you don't consider that cheating? It's not a it's not a good look. Mm. No, that's not cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. Take it out of here. I heard you guys oh. were oh. a little This was wild. We don't usually record a three-phase test in two consecutive days, but we figured that it was best to just finish this since Bella's from out of town and she's staying with Xavier. I mean, we didn't want him wondering if she was going to stay loyal the entire weekend. So as soon as he was able to get away, he texted me that he was on his way back. How'd it go? I think it went good. Is she suspecting anything? Don't think so, no. She believes you're at work right now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's, dude, I was just like thinking in my head, this is freaking crazy. She didn't tell me about the phone number. She didn't mention that. She didn't mention about like him giving her connections. Yeah, hopefully she goes to him right now. We're gonna have him call him. He's getting ready and we're finishing setting everything up. But that's honestly, crazy, she could save herself if she goes to him. Everyone's definition of cheating in a relationship is different. So what would you consider a fail to be for you? Well, I mean, if it's her number, like her real number, I already consider that a fail. Facts. She didn't tell me about Facts. it. She Facts. She didn't tell me nothing. So if this Facts. is her number, then I already consider that a fail for sure. Hopefully you go through the voice. Let's see, let's see if she even answers. It's so a fail, man. She fucking failed. Come on, man. Hello. Yo, this is, uh, this is Bella, right? Yeah, who is this? Is Cam? Yeah, you you just damn. How many numbers did you give out today? <laughs> I didn't say it yet. Oh, didn't say. Well, lock me in now. You you gotta take me serious. But is, is this uh is this a good time? Oh uh, yeah, I can talk. All right, you can talk. All right, cool. Well, I know earlier, um, Xavier said that he had to work and whatnot. Like, is he gone or like is he still around or or what? Uh, yeah, he's not with. He's gone. All right. Well, listen. I know we we made plans for tomorrow, but I mean, since your boyfriend's at work, like, what do you think about hanging out tonight instead? I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't know. Maybe to get ready and like, I, mean, I don't. I don't want Xavier to come back. And, like, I'll, I'll be gone. I mean, he's at work. You know, he should be on for a while. I'm like, how, how you feel about it? I mean, I don't know, like, you're gonna only be gone for, like, four hours, so... I mean, that's perfect. I mean, you take, like, a little hour to get ready. I uh, send a drive over to you, pick you up. Um, yeah, you know, we do our thing. I take you back. It's like, it's like it never happened. But I think we could pull it off for sure. I mean, I, I want to go, but I don't know if I'm really ready to go out anywhere right now. Like, what if his roommates, like, say something and... I don't know. I mean, you can make up some sort of excuse, like, you know, you, you going to see some Man, family or damn, something. Man, bro, this nigga trying to pressure at this point, bro. Like, goddamn. Friends or something, like, it's got to be something that you can say. And they don't know you. It's not like they're going to question or pressure you about it. Like, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, for sure. And just leave. Yeah. Um, is Ken there? Yeah, Ken's here. I can send him to run some air. I can keep him busy for a few hours. Like, we're going to kick him for two hours. You know, something real quick, and I'm gonna send you right back. It's like it never happened. It's gonna be fun for sure. All right, I guess. All right, so I only need about like 30 minutes, like an hour, like how, like I'm trying to figure out what time to send my driver over to get you. Oh, you're gonna send a driver? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send you a driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but nothing about this phone call sounded innocent. Bella was failing big time. Okay. All right, yeah, just uh, just let me know when to send a driver and send me the address, and then uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, so I would that's crazy. That already, honestly, but yeah, I'll classify that as a fail. That shit, it's a fail, man. I just, I'm thinking about what she's gonna say. It's like, if you want solid but, proof, like I'll really yeah. like press her, you know, I'll try to, you know, do whatever, go all the way. I'll, all right. That nigga wanted to do that. He wanted to do that. He wanted to go all the way. He wanted to do it. Okay, I'm talking about if you wanna, if you want more, if you wanna, I'll do it. Yeah, I know you will do it. I'm like, no, I'm cool. I'm straight. I got what I got. I'm cool.
What's going on, huh? Bella coming over while on quote unquote vacation and while her boyfriend is at work is wild. That boy put like on the loyalty test and and she gonna get took. That's insane. Oh, I was on his way to pick her up. I'll keep you updated. It's like a We're double whammy, you. man. It's crazy. We were legit here three, four hours ago. Holy cow. I have deja vu. I so we kind of adjusted the front camera. Kyle will be the one picking up Bella and bringing her here. But of course, the camera that we set up in his car would have died halfway through the drive. Thankfully, though, his mic was still rolling. Like I said earlier, I, I think she already failed, but it's more of like the, I know how she is. She's going to try to mani manipulate yeah. the situation, but yeah. I mean, I think she had a chance to save herself. 100%. I get why you want to go forward though and see the extra proof. So she has no excuses. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel you with that, man. T to me, it's just wild. She already ain't got no excuses, thing. bro. You don't got to go for it no more, gang. For lack of a you don't need phrase, no more proof. Like you see, this is all the proof you see, bro. To pass. I mean, Bella's from out of town. Xavier flew her out. She's staying with him. If he was on the front or even back of her mind, she would have easily said no. That's what I'm saying. Hey, that's kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy, man. Getting my dude like this, bro, making me mad. So what's the plan after this? I, I don't know. I, I'm for sure. It, if she shows up, her can't, she's going to have to figure her own way back home, like plane wise. You're going to cancel her flight by 100%, home? yeah. All her stuff is at my house right now, so I don't know like what she's going to do with that. Like, so you're going to cancel her flight back home. Would you let her stay with you still? So? No. 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 This sounds harsh, but at the same time, come on now. Bella was given a choice and she chose to trade her boyfriend out for another man. You that? can't give someone your loyalty if it isn't reciprocated back. I don't blame you if you don't let, us, let her stay with you for the rest of her trip. I don't blame you if you cancel her flight back home. I mean, it just sucks, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna see your car. We gotta move your car. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, let's that. go move your car. No, we're gonna go move his car. I forgot to move his car. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what a rookie mistake. We were so caught up in the moment that we forgot to move Xavier's car. This one little oversight could have cost us the entire test. Thanks. That was a close one. <laughs> Damn. I almost ruined everything. No, dude. I mean, hey, in our defense, it's been a My man's long... got a car. My man's got everything going, bro. My man flew you out. Like, what more he got to do, gang? Like, come on, bro. Freaking day. Like I said, we usually don't pull three-phase tests in two days. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. Perfect. I'm sure he's very excited to see you. Let me go and get your door for you. Kyle's coming out. Check this out, guys. This is Kyle, Mr. Chauffeur. With Bella now here, I mean, that was it. She officially sealed her fate. What's going on? How you doing? Good, you good? You? Good, good, good. You straight? Yeah, I gotta go upstairs and check the heater really quickly. All right, cruise, yeah. yeah, do your thing. Thank you. You look good. Bella knows exactly what she's doing. I mean, she came dressed to go out to dinner. Obviously, though, Thanks. that isn't going to be happening. Got a little surprise for us. A she little dressed for the occasion. And, you know, just to, you know, saying, get us all started and whatnot. We don't really drink champagne. You don't really drink champagne? Yeah, now you do, for sure. Whew. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's done for. This is a mad affair. She's over at another guy's house, bro. Drinking champagne with him. While and she don't even drink you champagne. Look a too good. Earlier you was chilling, but you didn't dress up now, so you a little, you a little different now. But yeah, do you want to check out the pool? What you want to do? With champagne in hand, Cameron begins taking Bella over to the pool. Look at the view. It's really unbeatable. This is the place to be at night time. There are some that may still defend Bella and say that she's only here for networking or the opportunity or just to hang out. Xavier wanted to cast all that doubt away. All right, we got to get in. Cameron manages to convince Bella to dip their feet in the pool. Is it warm enough? Hell yeah. Yeah. Try not to fall over. There There's you go. Champagne kicking in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the champagne kicking in already? Lightweight. Oh, it is warm. Champagne I told you, you, saw, you thought I was a liar? I'm not you. Damn, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, here we go, bro. Man, you look too good. Yeah, so That's, you got crazy, your That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It made me mad, bro. Else. Like, you really, so made me mad. You really did it. Like, you you was beautiful before, but now it's like. If she kisses him, then we can just go. Mm, you're looking too, 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 too good. Mm. I've been looking at your lips all day. You got some nice lips Wait, on you. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get like a little peck. Thirsty, yeah, man. Thirsty, yeah. Let me ask for a peck. Let me get a little peck, baby. Hold on. Let me get a little peck. Man, you don't go back. Oh, boy. Hell no, nah, but it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Did they do it for real, though? Yeah, yeah. Let me get like a little peck. Nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah. Are we, are we good to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in. 
that was fast, quick, and to the point. There was literally zero hesitation from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look too good. Mm. Yeah, I love no, that's this crazy. Color. Hold on, uh, Xavier, give us some time to uh, adjust for you. Of course, we would start having some technical difficulties as we were about to go in. If you want to, I can get a personal chef to just come through. We can kick it here at the crib. We ain't gotta... After making sure our equipment was good to go, we began making our way back in. Everybody good? It's been a long and crazy ride, but I hope you guys haven't talked to us because Damn, you guys man. already know. This shit's gonna be good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! So what are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? You think I'm at work still? What are you doing here? Is, is this your girlfriend? What is this? Yo, you're f***ing cheating on me. Why are the cameras here? Don't worry about the cameras. You're f***ing cheating on me. We saw everything. Since you put your number in his phone, we have all that on footage. You're f***ing cheating on me. Damn. What do you mean, what am I doing? I just f***ing seen everything. You just gave him a f***ing kiss and he's over here grabbing you. You're just okay with it? I left you alone for f***ing 20 minutes and you put your number on your phone? What's up with that? What is he like, good guy too. I gave you since to give me a call or you, even when I asked you in the car, I said, oh, did anything else happen? You didn't say none of that. You lied to me. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. What do you mean nothing happened? I just seen everything. This whole thing was a f***ing setup. So Bella, so just so you're aware, like this entire thing was basically just a loyalty test. We're aware that you guys have a long distance relationship and everything, and Xavier just wanted to see if you'd say loyal to him or not. You got uh, caught plain and simple. This ain't even in his f***ing house. Yeah, we set up this entire test. Cameron doesn't really live here. Like this entire thing was just a test. Obviously, your boyfriend's not really at work. He never was at work. He didn't go to work this morning. He wasn't at work right now. Um, we just wanted to see what you would do if, you know. You're crazy. How the f*** am I crazy? You're you just got caught plain and simple. You're crazy. How the f am I you're crazy? So toxic, How am I talking? You just f cheated so on me. Extra. You just f cheated on me. Up. That's so extra. Yeah, and look, you f failed. That's so where, where are you going? You're not going back to my house. So where am I supposed to go? You got to figure it out because you're not going back to my house. Where the f am I going to go? I don't f know. Wait, wait, here. didn't didn't you tell Cam that you have girlfriends out here? Maybe go with one of them or maybe one of your dudes from Arizona. Since every time you'd be so lagging on me, now I know what the f you'd be doing. I don't, I'll f throw that to the street and you can pick that up. That's where you belong, anyways. How the Damn. F I dork, you just cheated on me. Stand on all hey, 10, though, man. What are you going to do to get back home? Your flight's canceled. I'm going to cancel that. Flight? Yeah, I f paid You're for it. See your own money. You, you, sound so dumb. you wasted plenty of my money and my time. You were so about to go skinny dipping with this man. No, I wasn't. You mean, no, you wasn't. Oh, ridiculous. So wasting my time. You know that, right? I'm so what? You were so how the f am I f stupid? I mean, you're like manipulating. Like, you just kiss me and everything. Like, that's cheating. Like, if he did that to you, like, you'd be, you'd be sick, bro. Like, like, be real. Yeah, you know what? What, what, what was it like crazy. that? Everything was on f footage since yesterday. That's Don't crazy. you feel f dumb? Like, everybody know you're gaslighting right now. They'll, everything's on. Yeah, you're f gaslighting. Made me, me look like the crazy ones. Yeah, they're gaslighting. They're gaslighting. How the f am I crazy? Well, are we not in a relationship? Weren't we supposed to be working on us? My yeah, that will be to the street like I said yeah whatever <sighs> you good I mean I don't even feel bad I mean she told him she had friends out here so I mean she, she can figure it out I don't want to see her face Wow. So after just straight gaslighting Xavier, Bella was kicked out to the streets. Now, even though she was 100% in the wrong, I did feel bad for her. Hey, yeah. Xavier, how's she going to figure it out, dude? She said she has friends. She, she was a whole f***ing contact list out here, too. Why the f*** are you guys still reporting me? What the f Maybe Bella did have friends or a roster that could help her out. It still didn't change the fact that she was 400 miles away from home, though. Bella. Hey, Bella, well, we, we, we can, like call you an uber or we can even book you a flight if you don't have a way to get home we got that what the situation but we don't want to get, at least get you home safely part of the whole setup. regardless of the setup we just want to make sure you get home safe do you have a way of getting back to arizona safely do you, do you have her contact info yeah i have her contact okay bella we're not condoning bella's actions but we're also not about to let her figure this out on her own since kyle has her contact info can he can he help you figure it out Here's what we'll do. Look, I'll call an Uber for you right now to get to your place or to Xavier's place, whatever. We'll organize with Xavier to get your stuff and we'll organize your flight back home. Xavier's not going to do this out of his own pocket. We'll do it out of our pocket to help you. Come over. 
Okay. All right, let's cut the cameras. You want to go talk to Xavier? You want yep, to I got to it. Okay, cool. You want me to cut the cameras? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's cut the cameras. I don't regret her decision. Yeah, Bella's a cheater, but I'm okay with making sure she got home safely. She could cheat all she wants in Arizona. Hmm. I ain't going to lie, bro. W, though. W vid, man. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with these. I fuck with his vids, man. I ain't gonna lie. If y'all fuck with that, though, y'all know what I said in the beginning, man. You know what I'm saying? Get them likes up. Get them likes up, man.